Meanwhile, we're also getting more details on the Tupac Shakur murder investigation. ABC News is learning more about the target of this week's police search and what they took from his home. But anybody's watching now, they shut up because they say, if it can happen to this guy, it can happen to me. Well, but I've been shut out, you know? Some, some platforms will not have me on. Since Tupac's untimely demise in 1996, this incident has been enveloped in an unending cloak of mystery and fascination. The enigma surrounding the perpetrator responsible for this tragic end remains one of hip-hop's most closely guarded secrets, giving rise to ceaseless speculation. Yet recent revelations from Ice Cube suggest that we may be on the brink of uncovering the long-awaited truth. So, What's the truth behind Ice Cube's revelation about Diddy's involvement in Tupac's demise? That's what we're finding out in today's video. But of course, before we go any further, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now, let's dive in. As you're likely aware, the Las Vegas police are currently immersed in a significant investigation into Tupac's tragic demise causing ripples of astonishment throughout the upper echelons of society. This turn of events has prompted some individuals to make preparations to elude the clutches of justice. The emergence of fresh evidence has reignited hopes for accountability. But for a prominent figure, Diddy Combs, this sudden development has triggered concern and anxiety. Even his associates have begun to point accusatory fingers in his direction, implicating him in the unfolding narrative and pressuring him to provide a resolution. Diddy has perpetually occupied a front row seat in this ongoing drama, and despite steadfastly refuting any allegations of involvement from the outset, now finds himself ensnared at the epicenter of this enigma. Rumors of secretive rendezvous, concealed motives, and even allegations of contracting a hitman to orchestrate Tupac's fate, have permeated the exclusive circles of the city's elite. Despite the absence of concrete evidence against him, a substantial portion of the populace believes that Diddy, once revered as a luminary in high society, played a pivotal role in the jolting crime that sent shockwaves reverberating through the entire rap community. This knowledge appears to be widely accepted within certain influential circles as both Ice Cube and the law enforcement authorities are seemingly well acquainted with the individual responsible for this crime. So many people in music and Hollywood fear this guy, Diddy, as if he's untouchable, and even the... Oh, sugar, Diddy. Still, you know, dealing with, um, with some people trying to hold on to his money. Retired LAPD officer Greg Kading, a vocal participant in these discussions, alleges orchestration behind Tupac's attack from the start. Tupac Shakur's iconic status left a lasting mark on the music world. And while it once seemed like this case's secrets were buried, new sensational evidence has refocused attention on Diddy's past, raising questions about his potential involvement. Influential figures in the rap industry like Eminem subtly allude to this incident in their music, adding to the intrigue. It's clear this topic is no longer a well-kept secret, openly discussed in interviews and media. The saga continues to captivate the public with the promise of more revelations ahead. Ice Cube breaking his silence after decades has now entered the fray and publicly accused Diddy of both committing the crime and meticulously concealing his involvement for nearly three decades. The evidence at hand appears to be substantial, particularly in light of Detective Greg Kading's documentary release, which directly implicates Diddy and uncovers previously undisclosed information linking the music mogul to the crime. We're going to find out who's behind this and we're going to investigate it, okay? Under the mounting scrutiny from influential figures within the industry, it seems that Diddy's fate now teeters on a precipice. The unfolding saga with all eyes on it holds the promise of revealing the identities behind the assassination. The burning question on everyone's mind is whether this colossal scandal will lead to Diddy facing incarceration or if he will once again emerge unscathed. Ice Cube's unreserved accusations and claims that Diddy is already feeling the societal pressure only add to the suspense surrounding this high-profile case. Indeed, Diddy is facing a formidable storm of accusations and scrutiny, with numerous individuals pointing fingers in his direction. The collective weight of these allegations from both prominent figures and passionate fans has intensified the spotlight on this case to an extent that it can no longer be dismissed or ignored.
The music mogul's ability to weather this tumultuous period and emerged unscathed remains to be seen, as the fervor and interest surrounding the story shows no signs of abating. The unfolding events will undoubtedly continue to capture the attention and imagination of many. Despite the escalating public pressure and accusations, Diddy has displayed a knack for navigating the tumultuous waters of public scrutiny. He has consistently denied all allegations and speculations, often dismissing them as a waste of his precious time. Diddy has, in fact, weathered multiple accusations in the past, some of which came from direct confrontations, such as Eminem's controversial lyrics suggesting Diddy's involvement in hiring a hitman for Tupac a claim that Diddy brushed off as a joke, refusing to engage in any further discussion. In the realm of hip-hop, where loyalty to icons like Tupac runs deep, Eminem's jab added another layer of complexity to an already heated controversy. Adding to the intrigue, discussions on platforms like Reddit have unveiled an even more convoluted narrative. Some suggest that Diddy may have paid a mysterious figure named Zip to funnel money to Keith D., who was believed to have played a role in Tupac's end. Saying yes or no, but if he would have gave him them the money, it'd have been a murder for hire and Puff would be locked up. However, Zip purportedly vanished with the funds and Keith D never received payment for the alleged hit. Notably, the recent search warrant executed by the police in Las Vegas was at the residence of Dwayne Davis, also known as Keith D. This development has further fueled speculation and intrigue surrounding the reopened Tupac case. That has circulated was that after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money I heard. To, to Zip. The plot indeed thickens as Keith D., who happens to be the uncle of Orlando Anderson, the prime suspect in Tupac's case, made a stunning revelation in a Netflix documentary. He claimed to have been present in the car in Las Vegas when a fellow passenger fired at the rap legend. If Keith D's claim holds true, it would place him at the scene of the crime, adding another perplexing layer to this already intricate controversy. Insiders now suggest that Keith D's testimony could be pivotal in identifying the main culprits behind Tupac's end. Detectives have diligently compiled information, evidence, and witness statements regarding Keith's role that night and his actions afterward. They have spent months meticulously piecing together this puzzle while continuing to pursue corroborating evidence and potential witnesses for the grand jury. After holding our breath since 1996, it seems that the truth may finally emerge from the shadows after years of silence and deception. The head movie continues to just haunt you day by day by day by day. You know that. The death of Tupac had long been speculated to be intertwined with the East Coast-West Coast feud, a conflict well understood by Ice Cube, a West Coast artist himself. New York had held the rap throne for an extended period, perhaps close to a decade, and this rivalry between the coasts, often exacerbated by the media, created a volatile and hostile atmosphere that many believe ultimately claimed real victims, including Tupac and Biggie Smalls. In a surprising turn of events one year prior to the tragedy, in 1995, Suge Knight, co-founder of Death Row Records, made a shocking offer that added an intriguing layer to the narrative. He proposed to cover Tupac's $3 million bail on the condition that the rap legend signed with his record label. This partnership held the promise of reshaping the rap industry, but ultimately culminated in tragedy. Suge Knight bore witness to it all, from the moment of the assassination during the harrowing journey to the hospital, and even in the wake of the surgical procedure, remaining conscious throughout the ordeal. It appears that the world of show business is collectively yearning for closure on this tragic chapter, as an increasing number of celebrities come forward, all pointing fingers at the same individual, Diddy Combs. Even Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight boxing champion, has stepped into the spotlight, asserting that he possesses compelling evidence linking the music mogul to the incident involving Tupac. This revelation introduces yet another dimension to the unfolding drama. I'm talking about a guy doing crime in the streets that became a television guy and everyone knew he was a celebrity, had fancy cars. For those unaware, Tyson and Tupac shared a deep friendship that extended beyond their celebrity status. They were steadfast supporters of each other throughout their careers, with the rapper even visiting Tyson in prison, highlighting the strength of their bond. Tupac's loss had a profound impact on the boxer, leading to feelings of pain and guilt, 
especially given the undisclosed information he claims to possess regarding the events surrounding the rap legend's tragic demise. That my friend is in the hospital, he's shot. And next thing you know, I'm going to my friend's funeral, but he shot my friend. It's crazy, right? As Iron Mike has long harbored concerns for his own safety. But with the recent resurgence of the investigation, he appears more determined than ever to share these previously undisclosed details, potentially shedding new light on the case. Like many others, Mike Tyson is steadfast in his belief that the trail of evidence will inexorably converge on a single individual. And that individual is Diddy. The drama and intrigue encircling this mystery persist, captivating minds like the plot of a Hollywood blockbuster. A multitude of individuals from all walks of life are adding their voices to the discourse, expressing their opinions on Diddy's alleged involvement in the unfolding narrative. The allure of this captivating saga shows no signs of diminishing, leaving the world eagerly awaiting further revelations and developments. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.